underscoring Edgar Allan Poe's legendary scary story, The Cask of Amontillado, are three central motifs, dampness, masquerade, and wine. The dampness of the dark crypt, a setting typical to Gothic literature, enhances the story's mood and tension, and it also intensifies Fortunato's illness. Montresor repeatedly points out the danger of the dampness to Fortunato, knowing that his ego will cause him to disregard the warnings and compel him onward. Hey, he warned him. The motif of masquerade illuminates a tradition that provides the freedom to abandon reality, invert social norms, and cross boundaries, all of which speak to events in the story. Fortunato's masquerading sees him dressed in carnival attire that reveals his true nature as a fool. And throughout the story, Montresor masquerades as Fortunato's friend in order to draw him into the crypt and expose his true murderous intentions. Because of wine's role in Christian communion, its motif is one strongly associated with life, and red wine in particular is associated with blood. Therefore, in offering the rare Amontillado, Montresor is offering Fortunato a chance at a wonderful life, pretending he's taking the bottle to a mutual friend who's a wine expert in order to identify it. Prideful Fortunato insists on being the one to try it, and that begins him down the path that leads to his own entombment. Wine is both Fortunato's enticement and his downfall.